Welcome to Chemistry Lab. My name is Jeremy Krug, and today our experiment is going to involve solution chemistry. We're going to be making a solution out of sodium acetate, which is this white crystal here, and water, which is our, of course, our clear colorless solvent. Now, in order to do this, I've actually weighed out 160 grams of sodium acetate. So that's quite a bit, almost fills the beaker. And then here, in the other smaller beaker, I have 30 grams, or about 30 milliliters, of water. Now, this is a case where we're actually going to have a very small amount of solvent, but a lot of solute. So I'm going to pour in that water right there, the 30 grams of water, and we're going to start heating this up. All 160 grams of that sodium acetate will actually dissolve in the 30 grams of water. It seems hard to believe, but we're going to have to heat this up in order for it uh, to work. So let's heat this up and see what happens. I've been heating this up for a few minutes now, and I'm going to stir it a little bit. And as you can see, it looks like much of the sodium acetate is actually starting to dissolve into that very small amount of water. Now normally, sodium acetate is very soluble in water at room temperature. That means that a lot of sodium acetate will dissolve in water at, at room temperature. However, I'm raising the temperature so that I can dissolve even more sodium acetate into water. And then once I get all of this dissolved, all 160 grams of that dissolved in the 30 grams of water, I'm going to turn the heat off. And I'm going to allow the temperature of that sodium acetate solution to very slowly drop. And when that happens, I'm temporarily going to have more sodium acetate dissolved in that water than I should at that particular temperature, at, at room temperature. I'm going to have what's called a supersaturated solution. And then we'll see what happens, what uh, we can do with a supersaturated solution. Well, now it looks like all of the sodium acetate has dissolved into the 30 grams of water. So now the solution has cooled off to room temperature. Now, normally at room temperature, you can only dissolve about 70 grams of sodium acetate in this amount of solution. Well, we have 160 grams of this sodium acetate. Well, let's see what happens when I add a little tiny seed crystal of sodium acetate. And let's see what happens. If I touch this, oh wow, this is actually getting pretty hot again. The crystallization of this is very exothermic. In fact, this same process, the crystallization of sodium acetate, is used in chemical heat packs. Now for the next part of the demonstration, I want to take this same solution of supersaturated sodium acetate and pour it onto the watch glass that has a little seed crystal on it and let's see what happens.
<laughs> well, we got a pretty tall column of sodium acetate there. And if we touch this, it is quite warm. Because once again, this is a very exothermic process. <music> Well, I hope you learned some chemistry and especially something about supersaturated solutions. If you learned something, I hope you'll give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Once again, I'm Jeremy Krug. Join me again where we can learn some more chemistry together.